Hello po mga kaibigan, mga tumodachi. Welcome back to my channel. I can't do nothing better than spending my day with you. My life sunny and better. Girl. Ang aso o alagang aso ay isang amak na ina po ng lobo at nailalarawan sa pamamagitan ng isang nakatali na buntot ang aso ay nagmula sa isang sinaunang extinct na lobo at ang modern ng lobo ay ang pinakamalapit na buhay na kamag-anak ng aso. Ascal, also called Aspin, is a Tagalog language named for indigenous mixed breed dogs in the Philippines. Ascal o Asong Kalye. Origin Philippines. Other names, Ayam, Irong Bisaya, Aspin. Breed status, not recognized as a breed by any major kennel club. Ascal o Asong Kalye, also called Aspin is the Tagalog language name for indigenous mixed breed dogs in the Philippines. This native dog breed in the Philippines climbs trees, hunts cobras, and has sharp claws. Things you can do for newborn puppies. Number one, create a den. The mother and the puppies need to have a den area that is all to themselves. Number two, keep them with their mother. The presence of the mother is what sustains puppies when they are first born. Number three, watch for warning signs of sickness. Number four, contact your veterinarian. Panahon ng pagpubuntis, 58 to 68 kaaraw, haba ng buhay, 10 hanggang 13 taon. When puppies are first born, can they see? For the first two weeks of their lives, puppies can't see their worlds. Their eyes open when they are 14 to 21 days old, but their sight is still limited. Humans rely heavily on sight. So, of course, we want to know if our dogs do too. You may have heard the popularly held belief that dogs are colorblind. In the skylights, she got to look to good. Oh boy, I need a sub-band of my life. Shawty, where you wanna go, 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 go? London, Paris, Tokyo, oh, shawty, we could go. Don't need no luggage, na 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 na. Don't need no stress, girl, na 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 na. Just me and your sons are right, sons are right, girl. I want nobody but you. 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 Want... Ang anumang alagang hayop ay maaring mapabuti ang iyong kalusugan. Bagamat, totoo na ang mga taong may mga alagang hayop ay kadalasang nakaranas ng may ng mas malaking binipisyo sa kalusugan kaysa sa mga wala. Ang isang alagang hayop ay hindi kinakailangang maging isang aso o isang pusa. Ang isang koneho ay maaring maging perpekto kung ikaw ay allergy sa iba't ibang mga hayop o may limitadong espasyo. Ngunit, gusto mo pa rin ang isang mamabalahibong kaibigan na makayakap. Maaring hikayatin na mga ibon ang pakikipag-ugnayan sa lipunan at makakatulong na panatilihing matalas ang iyong isipan kung ikaw ay isang mas matanda na. 
Ang mga ahas, butiki at iba pa ang mga reptilya ay maaring gumawa ng mga kakaibang kasama kahit na ang panonood ng isda sa isang aquarium ay maaring makatulong na mabawasan ang tensyon ng kalamnan at mapababa ang iyong pulso. Ang mga may-ari ng alagang hayop ay mas mababang antas ng kolesterol at mga tagapagpihwating ng mga sakit sa puso kaysa sa mga walang alagang hayop. Ang mga pasyente ng atake sa puso ay may mga alagang hayop ay nabubuhay ng mas matagal kaysa sa mga wala. Ang mga may-ari ng alagang hayop na higit sa edad na 65 ay gumagawa ng 30% may kaunting mga pagpisita sa kanilang mga doktor kaysa sa mga walang alagang hayop. Isa sa mga dahilan para sa mga therapeutic effect na ito ay ang mga alagang hayop ay natutupad ang pangunahing pangangailangan ng tao para sa pagpindot. Kahit na ang mga matitigas na kriminal na sa bilangguan ay nagpapakita ng mga pagmatagalang pagbabago sa kanilang pag-uugali pagkatapos makipag-ugnayan sa mga alagang hayop, marami sa kanila ang nakakaranas ng kapwa pagmamahal sa unang pagkakataon. Ang paghaplos, pagyakap o kung hindi man ay paghawak sa isang mapagmahal na hayop ay mabilis na makakapagpatahimik at makakapagpaginhawa sa iyo kapag ikaw ay na-stress o nababalisa. Ang pagsasama ng isang alagang hayop ay maaari ding mapagaan ang kalungkutan at karamihan sa mga aso ay isang mahusay na pampasigla para sa malusog na ehersisyo na maari makabuluhang mapalakas ang iyong kalooban at mapawi ang depresyon. Alagang hayop number 1, isang hayop na iniingatan bilang isang paborito at itinuturing na may pagmamahal o paboritong hayop. Number 2, a darling of favorite or paborito. Mga alagang hayop, isang alagang hayop o pinaamo na hayop na iniingatan para sa pagsasama o kasiyahan. Love is moment, yeah. Don't you love when we take our time to make love? Promise you I'm not wasting time In the bathtub We don't gotta rush, no Never gonna rush, no My life's in a slow-mo Always in a slow-mo I still show up on time Stay a minute Another minute Hold on a second I love this moment, yeah Stay a minute Another minute Hold on a second I love this moment, yeah Stay a minute Another minute Hold on a second Love this moment, yeah Stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second What breed of dog is native and commonly found in the Philippines? As pins are known to be extremely kind and lovable to all people, they are native dogs in the Philippines and are often seen roaming the streets although now they are becoming more of a house like Asong, Kali, or Askal. Up. Let me know if you ever think that I am being too much You got me feeling love, even though I hold us up Let me know if you ever think that I am being so Just stay a minute, another minute Can I touch newborn puppies? Once the puppies are about 3 weeks old, they will begin to move around on their own This is when you can begin to pet them and interact with them more You should only touch or pick up a newborn puppy if you observe that it is sick, if the mother abandons it, or in the case of orphan puppies. Love this moment, yeah. Stay a minute. Stay a minute. the best dogs in the Philippines. There are 10 most popular dogs breeds in the Philippines as of 2021. Number 1 Shih Tzu, Number 2 Dalmatian, Number 3 Golden Retriever, Number 4 Pug, Number 5 Puddle, 
Number six, beagle. Beagle is have long been a popular breed in the many countries, but particularly in the Philippines. Didn't know that the honeymoon's just a phase. Now I understand, I learned it first hand with you. Thought it would last forever. What is the most popular dog in the Philippines? Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu, a toy dog that's easy to carry around or cuddle with on your lap. Shih Tzus are the most popular breed in the country. What is the best dogs in the Philippines? There are 10 most popular dogs breeds in the Philippines as of 2021. Number 1 Shih Tzu, number 2 Dalmatian, number 3 Golden Retriever, number 4 Pug, number 5 Puddle, number 6 Beagle. Beagles have long been a popular breed in the many countries, but particularly in the Philippines. Yeah. As you know, always been the strong or the spell. One is a family, one After family. Time, I realize I'm a family. 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 So perfect we play through Only cause you set up the angle Web that you weave got us tangled Caught in what's before our eyes Show off your fantasy reality Whoa, that's yours but I'll keep doing mine You'll be living your good life What is it we chase? Bow for your 15 seconds of fame It's your time